Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video you'll learn how PoE management and the auto reboot feature can improve your networking solutions. But first, let's figure out what exactly PoE management is. PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. This critical feature of networking devices enables network connectivity and power distribution to end devices. PoE management allows remote rebooting and continuous monitoring of said networking devices to promptly detect and resolve issues. We'll be using one of our managed switches as an example in this video. Now let's dive a bit deeper into PoE management. PoE management consists of quite a few things, for example, power allocation, ensuring even distribution of power to all devices within the switch's power budget. There is also remote power cycling, allowing administrators to restart unresponsive devices such as IP cameras. If you would like to continuously track power consumption to identify and address the issues, you can use power monitoring. With managed switches like RTSW202, you also attain capabilities to improve power efficiency with IEEE 802.3AZ, which can reduce power consumption during low data activity periods. To add to this list, PoE management has prioritization, assigning power priority to critical devices during shortages. And last but definitely not least, enhanced network reliability includes remote reboot capabilities and continuous power usage monitoring to minimize downtime and prevent outages. And now let's explore auto reboot. If you'd like your network administrator to configure the switch to send ICMP echo requests to the IP address of end devices at regular intervals, there's a configuration feature just for that. Alongside this, monitoring allows the switch to send pings to the end device to check if it responds with ICMP echo replies. This indicates that the end device is online and functioning. And lastly, action on failure allows the switch to take predefined actions such as rebooting the PoE port connected to the end device, resetting it and restoring its functionality in case it doesn't receive a response from the end device after a specified number of attempts. And let's take a look at some examples. Let's say, for example, an IP camera installed in a remote or hard-to-reach location stops sending video feed due to software or hardware glitches. So what should we do then? The first option is for our network administrator to remotely power cycle the PoE port to reboot the camera, restoring its functionality without the need for physical access. The second option is for the PoE switch to automatically reboot the camera based on predefined conditions, such as the camera failing to respond to pings for a certain period of time. If a camera becomes unresponsive, the switch automatically reboots the PoE port connected to that camera, minimizing downtime and ensuring constant surveillance without the need for on-site technicians. And thanks for watching. Now, as always, if you have any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments or reach out to us directly. See you in the next video.